Good morning from Wanaka. Yo, what's up everybody? <laughs> Welcome to our channel for anyone who is new. But for those of you who've been following along on our South Island series, you might remember on our last week's vlog, we visited Lake Wanaka and then some incredible sites like Clay Cliffs and Lake Takapo. We weren't expecting to go on such a massive long drive, but <laughs> yeah. we really wanted to share the journey with all of you. So we thought we'd YOLO it. By the time we got back to our Airbnb, it was very late last night. So before we head out to today's activities, we thought we'd do our room tour first. Let's show you guys around now. Man, this is like some luxury living right it over really here. It really is. So first up, this place was $309, but that's for three nights and we're here over the Labor long weekend. Welcome to Mary's Airbnb. And first up, we have to say a huge thank you to Mary for being so accommodating with our timing last night. We really appreciated it. And also for leaving the heater on for us. So by the time we got back after our very long, tiring day, we got a lovely, cozy, warm place to return to. So, as you can see, it's a very modern and clean design. Lots of fluffy pillows and it was a super comfy sleep last night. Eh? Yeah, the bed was awesome. Had a great sleep. And it's a really minimalist design, which we love. Over here, we've got very spacious cupboard spaces. And then in here is the bathroom. So the first thing that we notice when we come in here, Underfloor heated. Yeah, it's super toasty. It's really lovely. It's also a very spacious bathroom too. And once again, clean, which we love. <laughs> this place feels really brand new, eh? Yeah, we might be like the first ones to stay here or something. Might be. <laughs> so right now we are going to go get ourselves uh, something to eat. Yes, probably. It's getting quite late in the day. It is. And then we've got a couple of activities lined up. Let's head on out. Back in the town center and it's about seven minutes away from our Airbnb. We're looking for a place called Dripping Bowl, which has some healthy food op options. Oh, Acai yeah. bowls and porridge. <laughs> yeah, so we're, apparently it's just over here. Let's go check it out. Bit of a snag. <laughs> yeah, it uh, looks like it's moved. So this information, even before it's out on Google. <laughs> 82 Anderson Road. managed to find our spot. It was only a two hour drive two away. Two hour, two minutes. Yeah, sorry, yeah, two minute drive. I'm too used to the hours after yesterday. Yeah. But um, there's uh, switched over to the summer menu. So there's no porridges, but there are still the uh, smoothie bowls, which is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a creamy green and Yen's going to get a butter bowl. Looks like there's a lot of different ingredients in here. You got the nuts, you got some coconut flakes, dark chocolate, and of course the green. I have attempted to get a little bit of everything. Let's give that a go. Refreshing. That is super good. <laughs> As Yen said, that's exactly the word. Very refreshing, especially on a nice warm day. And I get why the green is creamy. It tastes a lot of banana in there, hint of sweetness, and then you got the veggie touch as well to add that little bit of extra bitterness. So I got the Traveler and it's a Buddha bowl. As you can see in here, we've got some marinated tempeh, which is tofu and broccolis, carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, kimchi even. It's also warm because, oh, there's some rice as well. All right, let's just get in there for a scoop. That is really good. So I think like Peter's, it's very refreshing. It's cold, the um, tofu bits, and then mixed with that sauce and all the tomatoes and cucumbers, gives it such a great texture, all of that mixed together. That's yum. If you're looking for something healthy, definitely come check out Dripping Bowl. I agree. Now we are going to where? Lavender Farm? So Lavender Farm. Like <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so on our way to the Lavender Farm, we saw the sign for this puzzling road and it looks really unique. Plus I read a tiny bit about it before, so I think we'll come here first since it closes earlier than the lavender farm. Looks like a couple of things you can do here. There's either a great maze or a illusion room, but you could do a combo deal, which costs you $25, which is what Yen and I are gonna go for. Here you go. Thank, Thank you. you. We just entered the illusion rooms, and this one here is the tilted house. So apparently it can affect some people's balance, but let's try out and see what this is all about. Ooh, <laughs> tilting lady. This is weird, right? It is weird, it feels like it's but I don't think it is. Yeah, here's another one. I mean, just look at that. 
I'm holding the camera straight. <laughs> Hold on there, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, that's the first time I've experienced something like that. That was unusual. <laughs> that is so weird. Are these faces actually following you? Yes. <laughs> They're hollow. <laughs> That's, that's why it's called hollow face. <laughs> got it, got it. But they look like they're, um, what's that other word? Convex. Yeah, but now they're concave. This place reminds me a bit of the one that we saw in Vietnam. Yeah, Artemis. Artemis but that one was more of paintings. This one's got sculptures as well as the interactive rooms. Artemis had some interactive rooms too, but yeah. This is pretty cool, it's very unique. If you like things like optical illusions and all that, it's fun to check out. And puzzles, the puzzles too. What'd you find there? So this one is really crazy. It is a hyper-realism sculpture of the puzzling world's creator, Stuart uh, Lansborough. <laughs> It looks super realistic and you're supposed to make eye contact, but it's made purely out of silicon, steel, and fiberglass. He's even got a mask. Yeah. That was pretty unique of an experience. Definitely come check out if you enjoy puzzles and illusions. It looks like it's a great place for family and kids to spend an afternoon. Outside is the May, so do you reckon we're gonna attempt that? Yeah. Probably let's... should, we paid for it. <laughs> yeah. start of the maze you are challenged with either a classic challenge or a difficult challenge apparently we need to find some towers we're gonna go for the classic just need to find a red blue green and a yellow tower we're gonna see how long this is gonna take us <laughs> hopefully not too long we have a right. terrible sense of direction <laughs> this way <laughs> all right go bud you got this you got this it's a dead end <laughs> I told Yen to do a shot where she would appear in one of these maze parts and look where she's appeared. <laughs> there was only one direction. This wasn't one direction, you meant to show up in the brown part. Now we gotta go back down this way. I'm gonna attempt to go in front of you. I'm gonna attempt to go and find Yen because uh, she's down there somewhere and... Oh my gosh, look at this. Yen managed to get into a tower. Dude, I found the blue tower. <laughs> look who finally found the tower. Reunited. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we've only found one tower and we're running out of time. So I think we need to head over. I'm gonna call this a success. We're gonna head over to the lavender farm. One out of four, that's pretty good. That's 25%. That's more than some of my exams growing up. You know what I mean? So <laughs> let's head on out. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a cheat. <laughs> Very nearby is the lavender farm, so we're headed over there now. They bloom a lot more in summer, I believe, for this place, but it should still be nice to check out and just uh, spend the rest of our afternoon. The prices for this lavender farm is $5 per adult, $2 for kids from 5 to 15, and under fives, it's free. Find something interesting here, bud? I have. This is lavender sugar. I've never heard mm, of that before. Sugar. <laughs> now, I could tell you that I'm so manly and uh, these lavenders don't really appeal to me because they're just girly flowers hey, and all we that. No, that's not true. <laughs> but I'd be lying. I'd be 100% lying. Like, Peter flowers, flowers. <laughs> nice smelling things, ice cream. With lavender. I like all of that. <laughs> I like all of that a lot. I think it's been a really nice change of pace today here in Wanaka. Yeah, because even though the video for you guys was last week, it was only yesterday for us that we did that insane amount of traveling. Yeah, 14 hours in total. Was it 14? Yeah, 14 oh hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, this place is pretty big. And even though the lavenders aren't out yet, the gardens are very lovely. And also there's supposed to be some farm animals, eh? Yes. We We're haven't come across them yet, but we'll them. find them. There's meant to also be a purple door, which is one of those, you know, Instagram-y shots. So we'll try to find that as well. We arrived at Yen's house. Hello, welcome to my Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
Give me a bar. <laughs> Thank you. See how excited <laughs> Yin is. We finally get to see the alpacas. Or oh, are they llamas? I always forget which ones are. I'm pretty sure these are alpacas. We didn't get to see them up close when we were at the Waikato Cherry Tree Festival. But look at them all here. They're pretty cute. They're so goofy looking. It's really cute. <laughs> they also have some highland cows here, sheep as you saw before, ponies, all of that. It's a pretty huge area and you can imagine come December, once everything's actually in bloom, it would look gorgeous. A bit of a shame that we're missing it, but by the time you guys watch this video, at least you'll know when to come over for the best views. But right now we're going to go back to the gift shop, pick up a couple of souvenirs, and then I think we'll head over to Lake Monica again, eh? Yeah, you wanted to see the sunset, right? I did! I wanted to get a couple of sunset pics. Someone is pretty proud of her little whore. I am! I'll show you guys what I got. So, this is a wheat bag, a lavender one of course, and it's got the stitching here, a Wanaka lavender farm on the back. That's going for my parents. Yeah, I think they'll like that. And then I've got here... This is for my mom. It's a lavender sleep balm and a lavender lip balm. His <laughs> mom often has trouble sleeping, so hopefully that'll help her. And then one last one. I got that lavender sugar for my friend Kirsch because I just it's just so cool. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe you can use it for baking or something else. I don't know. <laughs> We're back at Lake Wanaka and it is super windy and getting quite cold. And that's New Zealand for you, the weather can change any time. Tomorrow we're planning on going to Fox Glacier and also Franz Josef Glacier. So fingers crossed for good weather because it's forecasted to be raining. So we're just going to have to see our luck. But otherwise, in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed following the series or watching the episode, please do give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, drop us a comment, love hearing from you. All that good stuff helps our channel, so we super appreciate it. And we will catch you guys next week. See ya. Bye.